I can't believe this is even a show. It is so bad. The conversations that they have, it, it's so all over the place and just lacks direction. No one knows what the fuck they're talking about. I'll start off with the clip that I think sums up the show for me. And Annie and Esther are talking about comedy because they both do stand up. Right. And Kalila just interrupts with a total non sequitur and she can barely even get it out. Like, I don't even know if she knows what she wants to say. I think she just wanted to start talking. Because the other common, two were talking. Yes. <laughs> if you want to know how far he's come in his career, I did Comics Unleashed with him. And so, oh yeah, that was not a highlight for Did you come in anyone. with a leash? <laughs> <laughs> not a highlight for any. Comics Unleashed is so funny. Did I tell you guys that um, I ran into an ex, not Bobby, um, <laughs> looking my absolute fucking worst? I think that's good for you. And, and you know what? You're not wrong. I had a sweat mustache. I had just woken up. I was stumbling over to like a nearby like grocery store. I was crusty. Yeah, I mean, I, we can picture that. You, you could have stopped and just saying I look terrible. But yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have it in my mind. My mind's eyes got this one. Kalila. I like they're on a comedy podcast talking about inside comedy stuff. It didn't seem like it was really going anywhere. But yeah. Kalila is just like, hey, let's knock it off there. <laughs> Yeah, I know. She totally <laughs> thwarted that whole conversation. Yeah, I ran into someone the audience doesn't know. Let's get into that. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a minute. This needs a little sweat mustache. Um, all right. So actually, I, I'm burying the lead. And thank you for, uh, hey, it's Travis for reminding me here on the, the YouTube chat. Um, the reason why we were talking about her on Who Are These Socials recently yes. is because there's this clip that went out. And it went out. And somebody pulled it up on that subreddit I was talking about. And apparently, Kalila Kawhi, has like slept with her brothers, like not stepbrothers, but actual. I mean, she says that she has. Let's start well, with here's that. The, here's the thing. That, here's the thing that Reddit has picked up on is that if all of her stories are th true, there are stepbrothers, half brothers, full brothers. Possibly, we're not sure if they're related brothers. It's the 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 fish story has grown exponentially over the years. Apparently, okay. So here is a, a clip that we actually played on, on Who Are These Socials, and I think this was sparked us to say, we got to look at this show. This is uh, insane. What's going on? Yeah. Orange, was your brother alive? My brother was still alive. Okay, so you were banging him? We oh were my. still banging. <laughs> <laughs> we were still banging. Um, we'll back, step guys. brother or pop? Step brother. Step okay. brother. Step brother. brother. Come yeah. on. She's had sex with a brother that might be biological. Yeah, but or will we ever know? Thing we don't know. Will yeah. we ever get that answer? But it still counts. <laughs> Yeah, the sex counted. Okay, but you know, you know, we'll keep it as a maybe. Okay. Do you now. wait? Do you have Dick uh, amnesia? amnesia. <laughs> no, because he was the brother. He was the brother. Yeah, he was the brother. <laughs> the best brother. Dude, had. step brother, perfect penis. I was like, oh my god, for being my step brother, you have a baby. <laughs> Second brother, his he was the one who got circumcised a little too much, and so his dick wouldn't fully expand and it would hurt him. But he had, I remember oh, having like so a, a really big untamed bush. And but in really sex was great with him. Um, anyways, back Just uncomfortable. Yes. I, I mentioned this when we talked about this clip before, but circumcised too much. It's just like the worst combination of words I can think of in a sentence. That sounds so awful to me. It's a clip. Yes, if you need an excuse. Hey Doc, I think you're taking too much off there. Ah, you do your job, I'll do mine. <laughs> Well, the, the, so the thing that I noticed, and it seems to be the issue that Reddit has taken with her, yeah. is that she'll throw these stories out there, and if it was in print form, she'd be going for sensational headlines, like, I fucked my brother. Right. But then, like, the moment there's even an ounce of questioning, like, Esther Pavitsky's like, wait, your full brother? And she's like, no, not really. And it's like, oh, well, then it's not as interesting. Do you want it to be an interesting story or isn't it? It's it's one or the other. I don't get what you're doing. So, yeah, this is interesting because as I've been diving into this, this is a whole world that I've not really been a part of because I don't really care about these people. But maybe I should because yeah. there is there's something going on here. And I, I got to get to the bottom of it because what's happening now is the Tiger Belly, Bobby Lee, the show that he does with Kalila, is suing Wondery for yeah. breaking their contract. They signed a 39-month contract that uh, multi-million dollar contract, and now Wondery's dropping the show. And the reason why they're dropping is what they're citing, Wondery is citing, is that Bobby Lee talks about having sex with an underage hooker in the Philippines. 
on yes. some other show that he was on. They're like, well, a morals clause is kicking in and we no longer want to work with you because of this. So these people, and this is what Chad always talks about. It's like, everyone lies on podcasts. I'm like, no, they don't. And then I'm watching all this. I'm like, I, mean, I guess that is the formula. I guess that is the winning <laughs> formula is just fucking lie and well, make up stories. Here's the thing. So I've got, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. I talked about that Bobby Lee lawsuit. Yeah. And I was like, it's kind of a weird instinct to tell these outrageous stories. Like that, uh, that story that Bobby Lee told about the hooker is something he told on Opie and Anthony, when Opie and Anthony was still showing, he's been telling this story for 10 years. Right. And then when he got a little pushback on it, he's like, I was joking. Now, I don't think Bobby Lee should get in trouble by any means for telling that story. He is a comedian. He can be as outrageous as he wants. But it's weird to go on a podcast consistently, tell this story over and over again, and then be like, no, I was, guys, do you think I'm not lying to you all the time? I was lying. What don't yeah, you get about that? <laughs> it's a it's a bad it's a bad move because I don't want to listen to a podcast who makes up stories all the time. I don't find that to be interesting. Right. Yeah. So I've gotten comments where people are like, "You don't think people lie on podcasts?" And I'm like, "Well, I try not to. <laughs> Maybe right. I'm doing it wrong, but I typically don't because if I get caught, I look like a fucking moron." <laughs> right. And the interesting part about this, people are speculating that it's actually because Tiger Belly people aren't watching it as much anymore, probably yeah. because they hate Kalila so much because mm. she sucks. So that's, Wondery's that's looking at this <laughs> and they're going, oh my God, the numbers are dropping. We're not getting the advertising revenue we thought we were going to get from the show. We promised all this money. How do we get out of this contract? And so they're like, uh, well, you said you fucked an underage horse. So uh, <laughs> there's that. Kalila, get more brothers quick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that does seem like the more likely scenario because like Bobby Lee is a guy like the most famous story that I know of Bobby Lee is that... Um, he got his dick sucked by his cousin who has down syndrome when he was a kid or something like that. That sounds like a and story. So, the funky Eskimo would, would tell. Uh, that's all it's funny. a series of books. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the down syndrome cousin. <laughs> um, but like that, that's what I know of Bobby Lee. So it's like for Amazon or wondery to look at him and be like, well, this is a man of morals. Let's sign him. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, right. Good point. Stand up guy. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that lawsuit. It should be interesting. Uh, but Mike, why don't you pick up where I left off and tell me what you picked up on from this show? And by the way, is this your first time actually watching an episode? Um, other than the only time I've watched Trash Tuesday is when Annie Letterman said that uh Brendan Schaub tried to walk her back to his trug, as they say. Right. And uh uh, you know, put the moves on her. So yeah. that's when I listen. And I should say that, like, I liked Danny Letterman as a comedian. I thought she was funny. I thought it was weird that the Comedy Store documentary dedicated an episode just to her. That was an odd move. But, like, I think she's kind of funny, whatever. Um, but then listening to this podcast made me realize what L.A. does to comics. Because Annie Letterman, like, came up in New York, then moved to L.A., and there's an element of New York in her, but then there's also a lot of the stories that she goes down, Kalila, Esther, all of them, that they tell that, like, if they were in the New York podcast scene, people would be like, what the fuck are you doing? And I think the best example of what I'm talking about is clip number seven, where it's like, this isn't really a story worth telling, I don't think. It's just something that happens to people. I want to say about ringtones. I lose my phone all the time. And so what I started doing is I go, hey, Siri, play Who Let the Dogs Out? <laughs> and then from a pile of clothes, it's like, Who Let the Dogs Out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like the fucking best. Wait, that's a really... I it's the best. That. That's smart. It's the best. Hmm. Smart and like a really good idea is how they're presenting it. When it's yeah. just like, hey, I couldn't find my phone is the story. Yeah, I hope she's heavily sedated, Annie. Because she looks out of it. Yeah. She's the only one who, for some reason, stares at the camera. This is one of those talk shows where the set's set up so the three of them are kind of sitting around and looking at each other. And Annie just keeps staring at the camera for some reason, which is awkward. <laughs> and she's got some bombs on here, like, bombs away with this one. And what's great is that watch the other two hosts just pretend it didn't happen. They just kind of <laughs> want to be like, All right, let's just move on and not address that. Wait, what school and is he living in the dorms? He's going to go to Occidental and he's living in the mm, dorms. Occidental. And I'm part of Occidental, Occidental is, sounds like a Jewish accident, doesn't it? Occidental is it's Occidental. It's a good school. It's like it's orthodox great school. Is accident. It? Great um, area. Eagle Rock. Good one.
Oh man! <laughs> oh wow, she she <laughs> lost confidence too by the end. She's just like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, no, I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? what Ka- Kyla also responded as if it was a real question. She's like, I don't know yeah. if it's a Jewish school, but it's a good school, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. They're all idiots. And to your point about New York versus the West Coast, that's yeah. one of those things where anyone at Gas Digital or any of these other networks would be like, "What the fuck did you just say? What did you Occidental think was a joke?" Would be the title of the episode. They yes. would have spent twenty minutes on it. Yeah. <laughs> It's the worst joke ever. And they just go, oh, no, it's fine. That That's all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now they're going to introduce the theme of the show. I guess each show has its own theme. And um, they're dressed up like they're working at a diner. Two of them are, yeah. not Annie, which we'll get into. But um, this is just more Annie bombing all over the fucking place. Wait, side note, should we introduce today's theme? Yeah, please, because I'm fucking dying in this. So Make me a burger, bitch. We're, I can barely breathe. This feels like a corset on that's my what body. I want. That's what I want when I have a burger made for me. I want someone to be like, I feel like I'm dying. And I just want to add that I needed help from Bryce to put this on. Why are you sexually assaulting all of our people? What is she talking about? <laughs> Yeah, those, she doesn't have to. Those add are the that, pills right? talking, I think. Yeah, doesn't it seem like that? Yeah. Well, it's also weird that they have a theme to every episode because it never seems to matter. Like they'll mention it for a second. They'll basically mention what they're wearing, but it's not like they talk about diners or anything. And uh, I think my clip fourteen is where they're t- they're wearing like I don't know, supposedly sexy outfits or something, and Kalila is talking about hers and thinks she would like to add to it, which would, I guess, make the podcast better somehow. Stickers, you guys. That was the essential part of my outfit. <laughs> I thought I had glitter, too. For some reason, I just thought there'd be glitter in my car. I told Kalila, I was like, I think I have glitter in my car somewhere. <laughs> no, this is... There wasn't. There's a lot of Spe- other stuff in there. Though. Speaking of eyes wide shut, I got these. Oh. oh does that go over it's for each label? For each um, boob. It says oh. I'm horny. I have a banana tattoo. <laughs> oh my god she's now she thinks those fake tattoos are tattoos and the oh yeah this is this is actually a star she's all, she's, <laughs> Esther. so i guess they gotta dress these women up like they they come across as if they're like hot people want to watch this show because of these attractive girls like it's simcast or something i just don't see it and it's while i was doing my research i was going back and i was watching older clips of kalila it's like oh my gosh she actually used to be an attractive woman sure. and she's not anymore Hmm. And I don't know if it's because of her personality or if she just is a gross person and it shows, it's starting to show through now. Because yeah, these girls are not hot. I, I think that is a big part of it. I think the personality is a big part because a lot of what that r slash Kalila does is put together compilations of her basically just cucking Bobby Lee and like essentially forcing him into an open relationship. I don't, I'm, listen, I don't know these people at all. I don't know what their real lives are like, but the way she talks does sound like she's constantly like putting Bobby down and basically talking about him like he's a bitch. And sometimes oh, yeah. she'll even say stuff like, I had this one guy that I dated for 10 years and he was such a pussy. I just took advantage of him. It's like, we know who you're talking about. You're not old enough to have had multiple 10 year boyfriends. Yeah, she definitely has turned or had turned Bobby into a cock yeah. in a lot of different ways. And I was going back and watching some interviews that were very uncomfortable where she's talking about having three ways with guys and how she manipulated guys into fucking her and took advantage of these dudes like right next to Bobby sitting there. And then she was talking about how Bobby's friends were messaging her through Raya, the dating yep. app and cucking him there. And she's like flirting with these guys and probably fucking them because she seems to like like to fuck everybody a lot. Yeah. It's just not an attractive look. So you, you notice there that um, Esther and um, no, not Esther Koo, as somebody asked in the <laughs> Esther uh, in the Discord. Yes. And uh, Jody B from Po Boys Podcast says, no, you thought the client was hot because she used to sit next to Bobby Lee. All right. That, that could be true. <laughs> so, He's dating her. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, she's a 10. And then, and then you put her next to the tragic girl. You're like, oh, what, the, what was I thinking? <laughs> so um, you notice that right there. Esther said she had a banana tattoo. They do this thing, and it's very awkward. I don't understand the timing of this. They're getting into a deep, heavy conversation, and then this happens on the show. Like, we're always like, we repeat it. You know, it's yeah. it's part of our thing. We make it. But it's like, these are things that actually behind it's the doors like hurts really, us like, horribly. Are, yeah, I, really. I found like a lot. Like, I do a little bit of a joke and stuff on stage about stuff. Yeah. And I like talking about it to like help people, but it is like... Yeah. When we, when I tell you about 
Oh. Like getting diddled, like Annie and I, like every week, right? Yeah. Like I really want the audience to we know get that. We get diddled every week, though. So I don't find <laughs> that to. <laughs> it's not disposable information that no longer hurts us. Huh. It's just that in that moment, we're intellect. We're telling you this is what happened. We're intellectualizing it. But I can promise you that, like, when I hit those topics with a therapist, I am inconsolable. Yeah. I cannot breathe. Yeah. I vomit. Okay, so they're talking about getting molested as children, and in the middle of it, there's a banana break. Yeah, <laughs> and the producer comes out, hands the bananas. There's a whole graphic, a fun yeah. little song. It's like I would have been like, just let them finish this thought yeah. <laughs> before she's talking about getting diddled as a child. Could you just please not bring the bananas out right now that they're all eating bananas and talking about getting <laughs> fucked? Yeah, it well, didn't it's stop also, them. <laughs> it's also weird to be like when I when I talk about this stuff I'm I'm crippled and I I can't breathe and I I sob. It's yeah. like you you brought it up. We didn't ask you about it. <laughs> You're your, right. Your show. Talk about whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I know that the the conversation women. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Let me, let me rephrase that. These women <laughs> cannot hold a coherent conversation for more than two minutes between the three of them. Someone has to veer it off and take it off on a wild tangent that nobody could possibly care about. And this is... All right. So Kyle has asked why only Asians have storylines of um, parents fucking their children. I... I, I the reason yeah. why I'm struggling with this is because it's so absurd. I can't even believe you know, I saw what I saw. Can I tell you what I'm noticing? Yeah. Is that every clip you pulled is a clip I almost pulled, but I like couldn't fully even understand where to begin or end. <laughs> I noticed that too, because I saw your clips, and I'm like, oh shit, we did the same episode, the most recent one. But yeah. then I was looking at what you clipped, and I went, oh, that's all the stuff that I didn't clip. All right, so that kind of yeah. works out. Kind of <laughs> yeah. works out well. All right. When Biff leans in to make out of this. I have a question. Why do you think... Okay, they're talking about Back to the Future, so let me back it up. Let me play this clip first, because I guess Annie's only seen, or Esther's only seen three movies, and Back to the Future is one of them, and they're yeah. very confused about the plot of it for some reason. I say we go Back to the Future. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fuck my dad, or whatever happens in it. No, 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 Doesn't no. Doesn't no. like someone bang their mom? He's, he's attracted... No. You don't want to bang your mom, mom because you... Sense of, we'll edit it out. We're talking about we'll edit it out. now. We're going back to episode one where his mom has a crush on him. Are they called right, episodes that's the or one. volumes? They're not called episodes. I know that. Did I say that? Yeah. Well. Oh my God! You're you're bombing at this writer's strike. Oh my God! Is it television or movies? Is it television? Back in time. <laughs> I wouldn't accuse anybody else of bombing. I know, Annie. You should the last one. You shouldn't even use that word. Jeez. Holy <laughs> shit! So. All right, so they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, obviously. And then that goes into this clip that I was about to play. When Biff leans in to make out of this. <laughs> I have a question. Why do you think that only Asians have enough balls to put a parent <laughs> fucking their own child into a storyline? Like, back to the... Spoiling this movie for me, and it's... <laughs> You keep spoiling this also, movie. Also, that's very disrespectful to our new hire, Liz, who hey. is Asian. You did not ask her if she identifies as Asian. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been down here before. I actually just assumed that. I'm... Wait, Liz, what is your ethnic heritage? I'm Vietnamese. I wish you would have said German. Yeah, or none of your fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> that, that really hit me, because when she said have enough balls i pictured yeah. i pictured meeting a man who has fucked his own daughter and sticking my hand out and saying you've got balls sir <laughs> <laughs> you've got a set of brass nuts a on lot you. of us caucasians would have done that good on you buddy that's yeah. pretty impressive the stones on you my friend so now they this topic goes into what kind of asian porn they watch mm -hmm. and any if Thank God admits she's bad at jokes in this clip. I was glad that she did that. There's certain things that they'll do that I think is kind of cool. like, I want to know. I'll tell you what I like. Go ahead. Okay. So Should what I look for in my category occasionally, lately it's just been. Occasionally? <laughs> occasionally. Uh -oh. That was pretty Annie. <laughs> Careful. Rubbing it's off the pun. On me. It's the pun couch. <laughs> Get me off. <laughs> um, it's when um, eight Japanese men, one girl, and they're using 20 types of different contraptions on her. And she's like, just, she can't stand that she's coming so much, but she is also not like, it's a whole thing. 
You could tell by the time she got to the end of that, she's like, okay, this is embarrassing. Hey, it's a whole thing. I, I don't want to talk anymore about it. So there's there's eight men and 20 contraptions? Wow, yeah. that's very specific. I have not seen this there category. There was no video, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think she was the producer of this one. She really lost confidence there at the end. I think she thought yeah, they man. were going to be like, oh, yeah, I fucking love those videos. And, you know, like that, and then they bring out that one dildo that's like seven feet. And then... They, <laughs> It's a whole thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of what Kalila does is like starting big and then pulling back. And she feels like she has to be like the sexual one. Like my clip uh, 15 is a weird. So I guess the joke is that like Esther's attracted to Kalila and secretly wants to be a lesbian or something. Okay. But this is a weird thing where it seems like Kalila's not. Jo- like it seems like that's the running joke here, but Kal- it's lost on Kalila a little bit. Sexuality, even though we brought it up every single episode, but um, that's the fun part. If you don't want to, talk and, about and, it. and again, I you didn't even know that you yeah, don't have to cool, answer this fun. question. But have you had full blown sex with just a woman, not in the context not. of a threesome, just with a woman? No, not full blown. Doesn't she look disappointed in herself? Yeah, it's <laughs> not okay. I feel bad for you. Thank you. I love, that's a, my favorite place to be. It's when people feel bad for me. She's <laughs> <Christ>. weird. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? <laughs> the fuck? Not full blown sex with a girl. Yeah. But Kalila, like, this is a woman, like, Esther, I, she dated Tony Hinchcliffe. I, I, as far as I yeah. know, she's just straight. And I think that's just a running joke that they have. Okay. Kalila was like, let's, let's dive into that. This is my Dr. Phil moment here. I'm going to get you to cry. <laughs> right. I mean, I would be pretty upset if I never had sex with a girl, but that's <laughs> a little bit different. Well, sure, yeah. In my situation. I don't want to be uh, Ray DeVito over here. <laughs> That'd be pretty sad. All right. So um, did I play? So they're talking about the uh, the strike, the writer's strike, because these women are in Hollywood and all that kind of fun stuff. This is the most unoriginal thought to, <laughs> I've ever heard on a podcast. I I was so tempted to grab that family guy drop where it's like, you know, this conversation that's already been done a million times. This should be a podcast. Like this is literally what this is. You, um, you know how like the writers on strike, do you think that there could be a version of it where women go on strike and we just all vow to not have sex with a man, like until our demands are met? What are our demands? That I don't know. And like, well, there's no way we would all agree on our demands. Yeah, the demands wouldn't be a universal thing. We this has to like, be something. Ever. This has to be a solo <laughs> picketing. This is a, a solo <laughs> picket. A picketing for one. This is not a show. Yeah. That's Kyle, not even a, a bar conversation. No, I, 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 if you brought that up at the bar, yeah. I'd be like, no, we're not ta- we're not having that conversation. That's dumb. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. I, I like that Kyle really hit him with some insight of like, I don't know if we would get every woman on board for this. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That's a good point, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then here's a clip of just, I just called this, what is Annie talking about? I think she might be full on retarded. Don't you ever do the cord clearing things? I always do that. Like, if you're upset with someone, you like imagine barnacles on like a cord with them and you just clean it off. Did you ever do that? I love barnacles. You gotta go to YouTube, baby. You can do a lot on YouTube. Like, you know how like people will tell Jack, Chat GPT, like, explain this to me, like, I'm dumb? I feel like you just explained it like you're dumb. For you? <laughs> you feel like you, Chat, it made me say it? <laughs> Wait. You are a weird chat GPT, honestly. <laughs> I'm an what? AI bot. Like, I created all. Like, I this. have AI software. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck I, ne- is going I, on? I never thought I'd hear someone say I love barnacles. Dude, <laughs> they, they can do a whole barnacle conversation. I don't know if Mike has those clips. I certainly do. Uh, clip number six. <laughs> six is clip number six would imply uh, they, they keep going with the barnacle conversation, but would also suggest that Kalila doesn't know what an invention is. Like just <laughs> saying like, hey, we should do this. <laughs> I don't think falls into the world of inventions, but maybe I'm wrong. I learned about barnacles is that if <laughs> we were thing? if we were to find a solution for um so that boats no longer have bar like if there was a way to shave off barnacles from boats if there was a chemical that we could come up with we would all be billionaires like billionaires oh that's like the main problem yeah because it it causes a lot of like wreaks a lot of havoc with like big ships yeah and a- how many billionaires are so thirsty to come up with some kind of a toxic chemical to make them more money but to hurt the oceans to prevent that's like 
that like Jeff Bezos is going to be all over that. Why before. can't we say female given billionaires? Can we give some evil ladies some credit? We should. Who? There's female school shooters now. I mean, not school shooters. <laughs> What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, these people are so stupid. It's the dumbest conversation <laughs> you've ever heard. It's the dumbest conversation you've ever heard. And I, so the, the one woman goes, you know, if we could come up with this thing, we'd make a billion dollars. And yeah. so the other woman here hears billionaire and thinks like evil white people. You know, she's, yes. she's picturing Mr. Burns immediately. And she's like, yeah. oh, yeah, to destroy the ocean. You mean like, that's not what we're talking about at all. Where, where did that come from? Had nothing to do with what we're talking about. And also, Kalila adds, I don't know if you could hear it because it was like kind of under her breath. But she's like, oh, we shouldn't have given him the idea. As if Jeff Bezos was listening to this and saying, yeah. barnacles? I've got I'm in. Murder the ocean? All right. I've got the money for that. And you, I don't know if you guys want to hear my latest invention. Oh, but I please. was thinking, like, we just stop global warming and I'd be a billionaire. That's my invention. It's a pretty good invention. <laughs> I was actually thinking, um, I don't know if anyone's ever thought about this, a cure for cancer. It's my invention. <laughs> now that's a good invention. I feel like that's going to be a pretty good one, right? <laughs> All right. So now you you heard in a clip that Esther, for some reason, thought that she was a chat GPT or something. Okay. So then they're saying that she's in an Alexa in Annie's house. Like she's the voice in the Alexa. And then, and then Annie says... <laughs> that her boyfriend has made their Alexa hilarious. Oh, yes. I and there's a weird edit here, too. There is a very weird edit yes. that happens. I don't know what this is. But um, while he was there, Todd set up our Alexa to say two things. When, um, when like, something beeps, it goes, for the love of God, can someone get this? Which is not that big a deal, right? But then if someone calls, or if someone coughs oh it's three things if someone coughs it goes um it goes can you stop coughing i'm trying to flick my bean oh, and it kept saying that while he was there and oh, it was so no. awkward i'm like i can't like say anything. i'm like in pins you know like i can't was he coughing he was not coughing i was coughing oh you were coughing. i'm like stabbed and <laughs> things are flowing in weird ways but um and then it also when randy barks it says um Randy, you're not cool or tough. Aww. Are you guys are really having, like, you're utilizing <sighs> Alexa correctly. I oh, feel like I have no fun with that. Oh, if I could tell you, we're going to have to bleep everything out here. By the way, I'm also utilizing your Alexa. Uh, I, I am living inside of it. Okay. So that was a weird edit. She goes, I'd have to bleep everything out if I told you. So I don't know if it's just, like, motherfucking Brendan Schaub or something. I don't know. What this Alexa does that's so, so clever. So Alexa was hilarious. talking about Brendan Schaub, and boy, does she yeah. hate him. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering what that was going to be all about. But also, the fact that like you have these little cutesy things you do with your boyfriend, and just like leave that at home. You know? It's like the who, are the, who let the dogs out thing. It's like this right. isn't podcasting. <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't interesting or clever. I mean, okay, let's say that these three women are actual friends, and these are the conversations they have. Great. Turn the yes. cameras off. And have this fucking conversation with each other. This is not a show. Can I tell you? Can I tell you how much we've evolved uh, since we are co-hosts on WATS together Thursday at yeah. six? I almost pulled that clip, and because it was a bad edit, I was like, "I bet Carl's going to pull that one." And sh <laughs> sure enough, <laughs> yeah. nailed it. You came through for me. Yeah, because other than that, I didn't see any other edits really, or, or I mean, at least they were smooth or whatever they were doing. Because it's not like they're taking a lot of shit out. I, if I was editing this show, it would have been about I don't know seven minutes long. This is an hour long. Have different episode. visions for the project. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, yeah. I'd love to know what was too stupid to make the show. Right. <laughs> it's it's insane. Oh, and I should point out since we talked about you know Kalila having sex with her biological brother or, or maybe half brother or step brother, whatever. Of yeah. course, newest episode just came out, and there's brother fucker talk. What the oh, yeah. Okay, so What's wrong with you? I dated a boy back. Oh, this is one of my potential brothers, maybe. But he. <laughs> oh, wait, well, welcome to the show. It's officially started. <laughs> but there's this a was fucker here. <laughs> this was the boy I told you, you the reason. Like I couldn't have gone to an abortion clinic faster because he basically. Like I went to his home and I saw that he had his dog chained up. Like, and it was his grandma's dog it all day he was long. Your brother? <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing about Kalila. I, I don't know. I guess she doesn't like practice safe sex all that often. She seems to have had a lot of abortions. It's also that's not this. 
I don't know if there's a, a, a check a check spot on the sheet at the abortion clinic. Yeah. Uh, does your brother abuse dogs? <laughs> Is that why you're here? <laughs> She's like, well, yeah, she's talking about the guy that she was dog, so obviously. Well, the, the guy that she was pregnant with it was the guy. No, who, I understand, okay. but it's just like a weird like the fact that he's your brother didn't make you go. It's the right. dog abuse that sent you right. there. I don't the, understand. It. The incest should have been enough on that one. I I would agree with you <laughs> on that. Well, uh, she talks she talks a little more about her family, and this is again what I'm talking about. And uh, like I said, people on Reddit have really zeroed in on this part that. It feels like I'm sure aspects of this are true because it's probably even Googleable to some extent, but it feels like she's trying to, you know, perpetuate a story in some ways. Um, so clips four and five, she talks about her uncle and an incident that he had and what a great guy he is despite that. And then in clip five, she reveals what the true story this is. is. This is so funny because, yeah, this is all the shit that I did not clip. This yeah. is all the stuff that's so bizarre how this worked out. I have so a question pedicle. about you have the like bad guy uncle, right? Um, I the murderer, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did he like animals? Was he like one of those murderers that like loved animals but killed people? Um, I I, I haven't actually seen him. You know, he's a pretty good um, animal caretaker. Yeah. You like you're like, listen, we've got a, a dog sitter. He's on house arrest. <laughs> he's got to walk. He's got to let the dogs out. He's not gonna be able to walk them. But. You know, it's so funny. Out of all of my uncles, this is the uncle I feel like you guys would get along the most. Why? Listen, but he is he, he is a murderer. Hello, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> no, I really like. He's such a great time. Him. And also, like when he is loyal to you, like he'll kill anyone for you. Did he murder like <laughs> mob style, like gang style? Oh, uh, he what? killed his own brother in broad daylight using so a to sever the his vertebrae. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> but a heck of a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, but play dark with them, and you will have a blast. He is he's a card. <laughs> I mean, should not you, listen. Nine to five, this guy's a murderer. But in his right. off hours, he's a swell fella. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, all right, so this is the next clip where it explains why he would do such a thing, murdering his brother in broad daylight with a machete. Obviously, he had his reasons. Yes. Like, gang style? Uh, he what? killed his own brother in broad daylight using so a machete to sever the, his vertebrae. Yeah. Wait, why? Um, it was like a money dispute in the family, but then... <laughs> um, he... Why, Jules is about to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> he... I owed him, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, I got to change gears a little bit here, Mike, because okay. beginning of the show, they start with their plugs. And uh, Esther is going to, she's on tour. She's got tour dates that she is going to promote here. Hi, slugs. I am so excited that I'm back on the road. I've been working on my stand up. I cannot wait to share these freakishly weird ideas with you. Um, I will be in Atlanta on June 3rd. I'll be in Raleigh one night only June 4th. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. When you hear comedians promote their stand up dates, do they ever preface it with, I've been working on my stand-up? <laughs> Come see me live. I've I really might have jokes. A college try this time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'm actually going to write shit down that I think is amusing before I get there. <laughs> I heard your critiques about the last one, and uh, I've been working on it. And, and I, I couldn't play the whole thing because it goes on and on, but then at the end she even goes, and, and come to the shows, we'll hang out. I, I feel like it's not even going to be a stand-up show with Aster. <laughs> Please clap. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's all, she's like, uh, you know, my freakishly weird topics, such as dating, being a woman. <laughs> Where else are you going to get this stuff? <laughs> well, she's also the person who said, what if we went on strike and didn't give guys sex? I hope that's not part of her stand-up routine. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and that's a, a dumb concept anyway, because you know how quickly we'd produce sex robots? If that were to happen, that shit would Damn be straight, manufactured and on the shelves at Walmart by Thursday. Oh, yeah. They're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't force our hand, bitches. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll learn how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like... <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk about this real quick because so Kalila has been caught in a lot of lies over the years. Yes. And this is a weird one. She's talking to Dr. Drew and she's talking about how she got a full-ride scholarship to UNLV for swimming. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Have you seen this? This is just bizarre, because Dr. Drew's like, wait, what? That doesn't even make fucking sense. <laughs> He's trying to be polite. He's a polite guy. 
But yeah. even he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Ceiling there for how far you can really go in sports. And I think ultimately he wanted us to swim collegiately here. Did you? Um, yeah, for a year. And it all kind of went out of control. <laughs> Care to explain? So what she's talking about is that they came over from the Philippines. Her father wanted them to swim in college in the U.S., her, her and her sister is what she's talking about. And he's like, and did you do that? And she's like, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is a very quick yes or no answer. Yeah. Did you swim in college or not? <sighs> Who's to say? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Should I double down or not? <laughs> yeah, well, right. That's that's what she's thinking right here. Um, is this multiple yeah, choice? Yeah, for a year. And it all kind of went out of control. <laughs> Care to explain? Um, yeah, I got a full scholarship to UNLV. And it, in short, they fucked me over. Oh, they fucked you over. They, they fucked me over. They fucked me over because um, they didn't go through, like you had like NC2A, like clearing house, like certain subjects that you have to hit. And they didn't, they didn't look into that before I actually signed my, for a full ride. Or at least they didn't teach you what you needed to do. Right, and I was just kind of a dumb 17 year old. Ooh, I just so really banked on swimming, yeah. being my ticket to just about anywhere. What was your event? So she swam for a year, but then she didn't have the credits in order to get the scholarship for some reason because she was missing out. She, on a she class. used to be dumb. Yeah, I know. That's the only believable part. I was a dumb 17 year old. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's also, she out. says, I was going to use it as my ticket to anywhere, as if like <laughs> somewhere there's the next Michael Phelps being like, I don't know how to file all this paperwork. I guess I'll just <laughs> call it quits. <laughs> well, yeah, so let me play part two of this. <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll point out some more of these things people in the in the subreddit were saying about these clips. It just seems nonsensical to me. Look at her. So you're like, yep, you've either done some powerlifting or. And did she uh, get an NCAA scholarship? Yeah, also? she got a full ride to UNLV she... as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah, we're we're attached at the hip. My sister I and I are so close. And, and, and how come you couldn't? She couldn't have told you. She's older. She's older by she a year. She have told you what to anticipate when you got there. Everything went smoothly for her, and I yeah, but, expected the same for myself. But maybe, she, <laughs> maybe she, mm, weird that she didn't tell you what to watch out for. Well, it was of... a missing credit that I had that apparently I didn't have coming in from the Philippines. Mm. That basically derailed my entire collegiate swimming experience. Oh my god! It was one science credit. It was something that I we couldn't even that I could even make up for. And then did you go do nursing somewhere else? Um, yeah, Cal State Long Beach. Got it. It doesn't even make sense. No. There was a there was a single science credit that stopped her from being able to swim in college that she didn't get in high school. Yeah. yeah. Well, even because Dr. Drew is like, well, why didn't your sister help you? Because she knew everything you had to do. And Cloud was like, well, everything went smoothly for her. And Dr. Drew's like, yeah, no, that's my question. Yes, why? right. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why, why did your sister have that science credit that you couldn't get? And then so, the, of course, you get the sleuths in here who realize that she would have been going to high school in the United States by the time she was 15, based on her timeline of events and when they got to the U.S. and all this right. stuff. So none of it makes any fucking sense that she would come over here for a scholarship. And then they're like, you didn't take science in high school? Oh, never yeah. mind. You didn't think this through, did you, Chad? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is such a Chad moment right here. <laughs> Fucking brutal. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a list of all the credits. Uh, <laughs> hey, you got to give Chad this. At least he goes bigger than UNLV, you know? <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> it's bigger dreams than that. Yeah. You know what? I, another thing I like about this subreddit and why I've been promoting it is stuff like yes. this. They make um, garbage pail kids. Ooh. <laughs> of them. So this is okay. Cunt Lila Coon. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and then uh, we got... I like how fat they make Annie Letterman. <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest thing she ever did. And uh, Esther. Yeah. yeah bit that of a mess. Out. Yep. So props to the subreddit yes. and all the fun stuff. See, I gave I gave the right credit there. I, I, didn't, I didn't credit the user, did I? Good man. Sly button five eight one three. Like Sly I'm buttons? glad that's out there now. Yeah, Finally, right. he has his <laughs> time to shine. Credit, credit is due. All right, Mike. What else do you want to play from uh, from the episode you watched? Um, let's see. Uh, number nine, I believe, is um. <laughs> It, this is just Kyle being fucking dumb because it's like, listen to the context of this. And even if you misheard it, 
you would through context clues you would say oh obviously i know what she's trying to say this is a weird topic and i kind of almost don't want to bring it up because it's i think should be a bigger conversation and we'll talk more about it next week or whatever but like there's a lot of feminists that are like anti-birth control like the birth control pill which is seems crazy because the birth control pill is like what gave women freedom and it was a huge part of like the women's liberation movement like finally we could have sex and not be scared of a pregnancy but there are people who say that that like i oh, that the reason like choking insects and like basically we're trying to introduce a level of danger that has been taken away by the pill so when Wait, you were you say choking insects yes choking no in not insects in sex Oh, during sex. Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh. are you just choking insects? <laughs> like, I never even thought about it. <laughs> and my childhood would have been so much different. And he's f***ing off to that. I just can't um, believe she didn't hear incest. I was like, you didn't hear incest? Are you nope. Jesus fucking Christ. It's weird. Like, listen, people mishear things and say I say dumb shit all the time. But it's weird to not have a moment of like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Instead, you're like... Oh, I thought you were choking insects, which would seemingly be impossible. And and the title of that video that you made was called Insects, so I knew it was coming, and it sounded right. so much like insects to me. But yeah, as soon as they did that, I was, I was just like, okay, obviously you know what she's trying to say here. And I right. love that Even, as soon yeah. as one of these girls can't spit out their thought, that's when they let them talk. They're always constantly interrupting each other until one person's just like, and they're just like... <laughs> Go on. The floor yeah, right. is yours, please. Yeah. <laughs> Insects, you say? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> but then, if you if you want to hear more, Kalila, I think being dumb is uh, clip number twelve, where listen, uh, I get she she talks about her and Andy both talk about like being molested when they were young, something I can't grasp, never had to deal with it. Thank God, whatever. But believe me, they bring it up as often as they can, and they apply it to things. Like they think of a different theme every week, but the pot, the theme should just be being molested because they shoehorn it. I don't even know how it got brought up in this conversation. Wait a second. I want to ask you guys, I know you're really into sleepovers, but I was never allowed to go to any of them when I was younger. Would you allow your kids to go on a sleepover today? We, that's actually such a good question. Oh, I was never where I said I was going to be. <laughs> I was like well, in no, another no, no, state. Like, I was like hitchhiking. No, like, young, young, Annie. Like I'm talking about like six, seven years old. I would have to know the parents. Yeah. I would have to trust the parents. And then the setup. Mm -hmm. If there's anyone else in the house, like the, the, the person's older brother, like I would be so I fucking say this. paranoid. My kids, I don't want to say this because I feel like when you say this, you manifest it, but my kids will not be getting diddled. I'm so sorry. It's just like not going to happen. So whatever I have to do to make sure that happens. I think no sleep. My, my policy is no sleepovers. You're making me realize like my parents. Essentially, the conclusion was. Well, only if there are no rapists in the house. Right, right. yeah. I, I would have to vet how many people are into raping young children. And then if it's <laughs> yeah, more than two. Them. Yeah. yeah, if it's more than two, I don't like my chances. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Imagine that interview process. <laughs> are you feeling rapey today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do the Bobo challenge, but with like um, kids in uh, bathing suits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the Mets bullpen like this year? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and then clips one and two is more uh, to take the focus off Kalila a little bit. Um, it's more just their general disposition on things where this makes them seem like airheads. Like I said, I've heard Annie be funny and like she dated Kurt Metzger, who was a really funny comic, like, she hung in those circles. <laughs> I, I think it's so funny that the, the two credits you've given her so far is that she <laughs> dated Tony Hinch. Oh, no, the other girl dated, asked her dated yeah, Tony yeah, Hinch. Yeah. Hey, they've she taken good the, hog in that Okay, yeah, news. right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, they must be hilarious because they're, circles, they're sucking these, <laughs> these comics' dicks that are very funny. Yeah. So. <laughs> Pretty good. But, like, there's, some, there's something about Los Angeles that I think makes these topics both interesting and realistic, clips one and two. Yeah, I got to say, I went into the show thinking that I hated Kalila the most, and I'm not even sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure which one I hate the most now. But he very rarely rejects. <laughs> Wait, while we're talking about dogs, I really need to just like ask. All of us kind of feel like there's no way we could love a human baby more than we love our dog, right? 
I can't believe every day the capacity I have to let my dog, the, the courage it takes to get out of bed in the morning while I'm cuddling my dog. I can't believe I do it. It's I impossible. can't believe I do it. But people always say they have kids and then they don't love their dog as much. Is that true, Pete? I don't have a dog. You don't have a dog? No, I have We're his dogs. I, I, I can't Jacob is very offended. I can't believe she's able to get out of bed and put her pants on. This woman seems so fucking dumb. Yeah. She has very low expectations for herself, which is probably a good thing. But yeah, that, that conversation is bonkers. It's a psychotic, to me, it's a psychotic yeah. conversation. But then in clip two, Kalila shines a little light on this. I think you're going to like the name she brings up that certify. This is a, this is a smart take that they have here, I think. <laughs> Kalila, do you feel like you could love a human baby more than you love your dog? There's no way. Yeah, th there's no way. Maybe equally. I think we're all n just not moms, and I think that when we're moms, we'll definitely love our baby. Because I talked to you like hundred percent. I'm sorry. Um, that makes you... me want to not have a baby. I don't want to love donut less. Wait, well, no, look. that's not true. Because I talked to Ethan Klein and Ella Klein about this, and I was like, "Do you?" Because they were obsessed with their dogs before children, and they said they are equally obsessed with their dogs today. So that gives me hope. I mean, I guess parents. <laughs> you. I guess ideally, you have the situation where your dog loves your baby and wants to cuddle with it. As opposed to eating the child. I suppose that would be ideal. <laughs> it would be ideal, for sure. <laughs> I like that they're like, I don't want to have a baby in my house because I just want to hang out with my dog all day and the baby's going to want attention and it's going to need... It's like, okay, yeah, don't have kids. Got to feed it every you, you, day. No, 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 that's good. You definitely shouldn't have children. If that's right. It shouldn't be a debate. Yeah. Right. This is a no-brainer. You should start with a stuffed animal and then yes. work up from there. <laughs> A doll. Yeah. Start with a doll. Yeah. <laughs> see where see where it gets you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, anything else that you want to play from the show? Um, I think just my the best clip to end on is probably my clip sixteen because I feel like it, it's a message. Everything we just did uh, should be null and void after hearing this message. All the comments are like, imagine if they get if they this was the other way around. No, <laughs> it's also like those people. Why are you watching this? Show? <laughs> this is for girls and cool guys, okay? <laughs> Not guys that are like, I can't wait to poke holes in women's stories. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? It's like this is not for you. Like, comment on the Reddit. We know you guys are on Reddit. Go to Reddit. <laughs> My favorite is like when they try to poke holes in your. Molestation stories. It's no, like, they don't. What? Well, yeah. Oh, they my can't dad. Be my real. dad doesn't believe you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't molested. I'll show you molested. The best thing Esther said in these podcasts. <laughs> I know that's fucking hilarious. My dad thinks you guys are full of shit. You know, all we do is lie about everything all the time. The people don't believe us, but we say that we were molested as children. I, I don't get it. What's going on here? I like imagining Esther's dad on Reddit. Like another shitty episode today. <laughs> I also like the idea. I know that's pretty funny. <laughs> Especially if his handle is just Esther's dad. <laughs> Which was the ugliest? Because I can't tell. <laughs> Esther's dad. Who are these podcasts?